Hi there, my name is Steve. I work, at, work from PVE down in Somerset. In this little video today, I'm going to show you how to use the Max ECU auto tune features in your Max ECU. It's all included. Um, this will help you build up your VE table, get it all roughed out to an extent, hopefully. You should be able to use this video to get your fueling tables fairly decent on your car, as I say, at least. Enough to get it to your local dyno. Um, most local tuners should be able to easily tune your Max ECU well. It's fairly self explanatory, very user friendly system. Okay, so in this video, um, I'm going to assume that you have your injector characteristics nailed. If not, sort that before you do this, or it won't work. I'm also going to make the assumption that you have a wideband lambda sensor fitted, working and configured correctly. Uh, today's weapon of choice um, we're going to be using is a little Peugeot 205 rally car. Uh, it's fitted with a Brett Sims Racing 8 valve rally engine on Gen V45. It's got an 8 injector setup, but that won't affect what we're going to do, um, what I'm going to show you today. Um, it's a staged setup, there's four in the normal port position and four at the end of the trumpets, but again, I'm going to ignore that for a moment um, just for the purposes of today's video. Um, we've recently converted this car from an old Motec M4 system um, to the feature rich Max ECU Sport. Um, it's without a doubt one of the best value systems, not only in the Max ECU range, but on the planet really for ECM. Uh, we feared the system coinciding with a, a sad of sequential gearbox that the M4 couldn't cope with properly. Um, it's got so much going on in this car now, it just outgrew the system, but again, it's an old system and it, it did really well. I'll be using this car to show the auto-tune features. Um, the injector characteristics have already been programmed in and I have a wideband fitted and configured correctly. Um, the vehicle's running, it's all idling as sensible as a race engine's going to. Um, all of the Max ECU products are available on our web shop. Um, link is in the description of the video. Again, if you f if you feel you want a little bit of help, or if I can point in the right direction, if I've got a chance, um, pop me an email. Again, my email is in the link in the description. I'll try and help where I can. Even if you're not local, I'll certainly try and point in the right direction. There's plenty of the Max ECU dealers around the world now. Um, but like I say, if you, if you fancy asking me a question, fire away. Um, all the details are there. I'll try my best to assist you. Okay, let's get in the car and get this show on the road. Okay, we're in the car now on the dyno. Let's pull up the M-Tune software screen for you to see. I'm going to now demonstrate how we use Steady State and the Max ECU Auto-Tune function. We will be using it to try and attain our Lambda we have already set out in our Lambda table. You will of course have to set up your demanded Lambda table already. The Auto-Tune function will try to achieve the Lambda you have set in our Lambda table. Using the dyno to load hold dynamically the engine RPM to whatever I demand. I'm allowing it to stabilise in each cell, then I'm using the Control T auto tune function. I'm looking at the fuel targeting error, and once it's below 1%, I'm happy enough for the moment, and we can move on to the next cell and repeat. The cells go blue once we've tuned them. It's worth noting, if your lambda correction is active, the auto-tune function will take this into account whilst trying to achieve the desired lambda. The calculations are done within M-Tune for you. I will usually have acceleration and enrichments off during this point, but as long as you're not trying to use the auto-tune function during an acceleration and enrichment event, you should be golden. useful feature is the lock cell feature. What we can do is we can highlight a batch of cells. These ones are the blue ones that we've auto-tuned already so we don't want to change those so we just left click, highlight 
and then just right click and hit lock cells what you'll see is they'll change colour and you can now not adjust them so you can just carry on tuning other cells with no fear of catching those out again The next part of the auto-tune function is auto-tune by log file. In this instance I'm just going to hit save log file and then run the dyno on a nice slow sweep to try and get as much data as I possibly can. This can be done on the road just by doing a nice long sweep in a high gear up a hill. So let's play that back. Let's open that log file again and then we're presented with a two-dimensional graphical representation of our log. So the top is the top row is the entirety of our log. So we'll try and highlight the area that we're interested in, which was that sweep. So once we've got that in the right place, we right click and then we go to selection, begin selection, and then we'll go to the end of the sweep, right click again, selection, end selection. So now we've highlighted the area we're interested in the sweep, we can right click again, click selection and then auto tune VE table. You'll notice in the background Demtune has highlighted our swept area that we've auto tuned again. Those cells are now blue for tuned. There we go, that kind of concludes what I was trying to get at with the, the whole auto-tune features with the Max ECU. Hopefully you've got something out of the video. If not, well, hopefully next time I'll do a bit there. Um, so I'll try and do a few of these. Again, hopefully you'll find them interesting. It gives me something to actually put up on YouTube as well. So yeah, well, hopefully I'll see you soon. As always, and all of the YouTubers and all the rest of it, um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Let's just hear this screaming one more time, shall we? Thank <laughs> you.